What's up and welcome to another episode of Chopstick Travel. My name's Luke Martin and today is day three here in Istanbul, Turkey. We are absolutely falling in love with this beautiful city and all of the delicious food. So yesterday, if you didn't check out that episode, click the link down in the description box. The highlight of the day was having a traditional Kurdish style breakfast. So I've got a piece of bread here and I'm gonna grab some of this uh, Kaimak, the clotted cream, and then I'm gonna go in for some honey on top of that. Wow, very sweet. I'm gonna take one of these cucumbers and also dip it in this kind of cucumber yogurt sauce. Mm. That yogurt sauce that it comes with goes along with it really well. It's also got a cucumber flavor, but it's quite sour. The people here in Turkey have just been so incredibly friendly and accommodating and it's really just made our trip even better than it already was. So today we have another full day of eating. I am super hungry, so let's go get breakfast. Are you all right, sir? I'm all right. Are you? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. So for breakfast today, we have come to have Kaimek, which is like a clotted cream. We are at a restaurant that is specializing in this particular dish. And what makes this restaurant really unique is the owner of this restaurant actually has his own farm of water buffalo. And he uses the milk from these water buffalo to make this, the Kaimek. So you can see this nice white dollop of uh, clotted cream here in the middle. It just looks so, so good. And then, completely smothered in honey so all around that is some really good quality honey and this is we tried this yesterday for breakfast and it just blew my mind so i'm really excited to try a place that's specializing in this so let me grab a piece of bread here i'm gonna grab some of this cream and oh wow that's really thick that's much thicker than the stuff we tried yesterday it actually almost feels like butter my spoon I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my bread here and get some honey Oh man, look at that golden honey. It's liquid gold. <laughs> oh yeah. That is seriously good. So the first thing that hits your mouth is definitely the richness of that honey. It's not overly sweet, but it's very flavorful. And then the creaminess, almost like velvety smooth texture of that Kaimek in the middle. That is seriously good. That is dangerously good because this can't be good for you. Let's go ahead for one more bite here. I'm just gonna dip my bread right in here and look at the, just look at the color and the texture of that cream. Oh man. Super good. Tea? Oh, perfect way to start the day. So the owner just gave us a different type of bread. This is called cement. It's almost like a bagel and it's covered in toasted sesame seeds. So I'm gonna break a little piece of this off and you can probably tell down here that we ordered a brand new batch of the Kaimek. It was just too good. Really what makes this so good and you can just taste the difference is from the texture of this cream. It's just ridiculously velvety smooth and the honey is quite sweet for breakfast, but I just can't get enough of it, it's too good. Mm. Whew, what a way to start the day. I have a serious sugar rush after that meal, but the owner of that restaurant is extremely friendly. And if you're a person that likes sweets for breakfast, that is your spot. And if you don't want it for breakfast, it's also a good dessert or any time of day. So now we are hopping on the Metro and we are going to head to the Topkapi Palace. So we just took the tram here in Istanbul for the first time. We've used the bus system a lot and actually we found that the public transportation here is very convenient and very easy to use, very fast as well. You just use a little thing called an Istanbul cart and you can use it for as many people as you want. Just beep it when you get on. So that was a really quick ride. We are now 
heading to the Topkapi Palace. So behind me here is the Topkapi Palace, which used to be the home of the Ottoman Sultans here in Turkey, but now it's a museum, so we're gonna go in and see what's inside. So we are working our way through this massive complex. There are four different courtyards and each courtyard has several chambers and each chamber is sort of like a museum exhibit. Um, this place is huge. You could spend all day here. And some of the main highlights that we saw were the skeletal arm of the prophet John and also the staff of Moses. Um, the beard hair of the Prophet Muhammad. So there is a lot of really important religious relics here, but no pictures allowed in most places in here. So I think uh, we are finished. It's quite busy here, but because it's so big, it doesn't really feel crowded. And like I said, you could spend all day here, but we are getting hungry, so we're gonna head to get some lunch now. <laughs> So today for lunch we are getting our meat fix. We are at another kebab restaurant here in Istanbul, but this is not a regular kebab restaurant. They are serving something called Kog Kebab. This place is called Sezade Kog Kebab. And basically what that is, is it's very similar to the normal donor kebab but this one is horizontal. So this is spiced lamb meat on a horizontal spit. They're cooking it on wood fire. And the way that they make it is really interesting too. They use these little skewers to kind of puncture the meat and then use a knife at the same time to slice it off. So you get these really juicy looking, thinly sliced pieces of meat and the owners are really friendly. I actually just sampled a little piece there uh, with the owner and it was delicious. But we just ordered up our plate. So you you can see here it's hiding underneath these thin uh, wrappers and let me pull these back so you can see that oh man and serve right on those skewers so these are like custom made skewers easy to uh, get the meat on there and I can see just layers of fat and meat and just those little kind of burnt ends and just look at that that is some seriously juicy lamb meat and then served with a nice roasted pepper and then also we've got a salad here um, we've got some onions looks like there's some parsley chopped up in there and then some tomatoes and some spice on top so let's dig into this my mouth is watering already after tasting that one little bite okay I'm just gonna rip a piece of this little wrapper off and then I'm gonna make my own little lamb kebab wrap and look at that oh man that came off really easily oh, that's so good oh that's so good that is seriously one of the juiciest meats i've ever tasted completely liquefies in your mouth it's just got a natural lamb flavor man it's just the quality of that meat and the juiciness that makes it so good let me try one more piece by itself i love how there's little layers of fat as well get this off the skewer it's still nice and hot Chat. oh man that is mind-blowingly delicious ridiculously tender chase that with a little bit of this salad here some onions some tomatoes try that oh. 
This is too good. That was delicious. The staff here is super friendly. The way they're cooking that meat and how it tastes so smoky, absolutely delicious. Definitely recommend this spot. We are having an amazing day so far in Istanbul. Both the places we ate at today have been mind-blowingly delicious. So something you may or may not know about Istanbul is I think it's the only city in the world that straddles two continents, so both Europe and Asia, and they're split in between by the Bosphorus River. So actually you can take a ferry over to the Asian side. We've spent our whole trip thus far on the European side, but now we are jumping on the ferry, heading to the Asian side to check out Asian Istanbul. to get on and this is actually quite a comfortable ferry. There's all kinds of seats. Um, you can stay outdoors or you can stay indoors. We are just on the back of the ferry checking out all the seagulls kind of chasing the boat. It is really beautiful and quite windy but it is seriously gorgeous views of the Bosphorus River. So we are back in Asia. That is it for our European street food series. <laughs> just kidding. We were just on the Asian side of Istanbul. That was about a 20 minute ferry ride. Really picturesque actually. And this area is called Katakoy. There is a market here. So we are heading there now to check it out. So this market is an outdoor market and you can get all kinds of things here, spices, cheeses, meats, but there is a focus on seafood because we're right on the water and uh, it's really cool. It's really fun to explore. So our first stop today is for Lamajun, which is kind of the Turkish answer to pizza. So here we have it. It's a very thin bread. They're making them fresh on site. The way that he makes it is he first thins this dough out very, very thinly and then rubs on a mixture of meat. I, I'm not sure if it's beef or lamb that's on this and then tons of spices as well. I can already smell some cumin and I see a little bit of chili flakes. Then he uses this long wooden paddle to feed it into their wood fired oven. And then on the side here for drink we have something called Iran and that is like a uh, salty yogurt drink. I've never tried it, but I read online that it is a favorite to have in the winter time here in Istanbul. So first of all, I'm gonna garnish this a little bit with a little bit of parsley. Just kind of sprinkle that on here. And then also some lemon juice. And this, I can tell, is hot and fresh. I just watched them pull it out of the oven. So put a little bit of lemon on there and let's dig into that. So I'm just gonna fold this in half or maybe fold it three times. And man, that feels super crispy. Let's try that out. Mm. Oh, that is very nice. So the first flavor I tasted there is the lemon juice that I put on top and a little bit of spice. We asked for medium spicy, but the best part about that in my opinion is the bread. It is extremely light, but very crunchy at the same time. Just check that out. It is like very crisp. 
you can see it's kind of almost like a cracker thin. Let's go in for one more bite. Mm. Oh man, the meat in there too just gives it kind of like an oiliness and it goes nicely with the crunchiness of that bread. That is a perfect like on the go snack. So I've been seeing everybody here pretty much in Istanbul drinking this. At first I thought it was just a glass of milk, which I thought was kind of weird, but apparently it's not. It's this Iran, so let's try it. Ooh. Yeah, oh wow. That is very refreshing. It's really unique too. It's kind of like a watered down yogurt. It's not too creamy and it's sour and salty at the same time and served nice and cold. That is, that's pretty good actually. That was a seriously yummy little snack. It was much lighter than I had envisioned. I kind of pictured it more of a pizza, but it was much more of like a flat bread. And we're noticing that the Asian side here in Istanbul, Katakoy, has like a totally different feel to it. It's very like chill and it just seems not as busy. So we're not very full after that. So we're gonna head to get another bread snack called pide. So to end our day on a good note, we have left all the tourist sites behind. We are far outside any tourist uh, attraction here in Istanbul, and we have come to get this piece of beauty. This is the Turkish pide. It's sort of like this boat filled with ground beef that has been spiced, and then this beautiful egg yolk, which has just actually started breaking, but I'm just gonna pull this around a little bit and mix that in and just look at that. That is absolutely beautiful, oh man. And I wish you guys could smell this. It smells incredible. And we've also got a big hunk of butter here, which I'm gonna mix around a little bit too. And this is so fresh. They were just making them out back, similar to the Lamajun, using that wooden paddle to feed them into their oven. And they're just pumping these out. This is apparently one of the best pitas you can get in all of Istanbul. And by the looks of it, it is going to be the best pita I ever eat. I'm just gonna go in right here. Look at all that. Oh man. I'm gonna try to cut this a little bit so I can get a piece with some of that egg and some of that butter. And this looks very hearty compared to that Lama June. Okay. I might just have to pick this up and take a bite for my first bite. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> that just coats your entire mouth. The butter, the egg, the oily ground beef, and then that crisp, hearty bread holding it all together. Man, that just completely coated my mouth. Almost like umami. Let me go in for one more bite. I know I'm supposed to cut this up and eat it properly, but I can't wait, it's too good. Oh, oh that's phenomenal. So what do you think of the pita, Sabrina? God, with that egg on top, not cooked at all, and that stick of butter, it adds like a whole new dimension. It's salty, it's flavorful, it's juicy, it's perfect. The oranges here in Turkey are some of the best we've ever had. We bought three kilos the other day for a super cheap price and at this restaurant we got some fresh squeezed orange juice and it's pulpy, it tastes extremely fresh and it goes great with the pita. That was 
probably the best thing that we have eaten so far in Istanbul. Absolutely delicious P day, worth the journey out there, and what a way to end the day. So we are back at the ferry terminal. We are heading back to the European side where we are staying, but that's gonna be it for today's video. We hope to make a couple more videos here in Istanbul, so if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post a video, and leave us a like if you enjoyed it. Let us know down in the comment box what you think looked the most delicious, and if you have any more recommendations for us, and we will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.